If you're a Descript user, you probably have already played with a new version, but there's a few really cool new features that I'm excited about that I want to make sure you know about because it's going to help you create better videos faster and more fun, honestly. If you're new here, my name is Meredith. I'm here to help you look good, sound good, and feel good on camera so that you can build your binge-worthy video brand online. I've been a longtime user of Descript, so it's great to see some of these new features finally come to life. And the first one is going to be under the underlord. And it's this first one at the top of the list, edit for clarity. This is something that I think everybody should use to at least see if you yourself are clear enough at delivering your content in your videos. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to just hit edit for clarity over here, hit submit, and it's going to take this very short little uh, practice video that I created here and tell me over here on the right hand side what it would do to edit for clarity. It analyzed what I was saying and is telling me, you know, maybe get rid of some of the filler words, of course, that makes sense. And some of the other, um, I guess, I don't know, monotony of the video. And what you can do is say, yeah, okay, I, I agree to that and say, apply these edits to the script and it will apply them to the script. So you can see what just happened there. And if I hit undo, you could also say, let's not apply them to this. Let's create a whole new composition with these edits. And when you do that now up at the top, you can see you're still here within the same project, but you have these two compositions. One is the original and one is with the edited for clarity version. This is one of my favorite things about the Underlord as a whole. Most of these functions are going to give you the option to create a new version. So you're not like fiddling with your actual project and then deciding, oh, I don't really like that and then not having a way to undo it. And there's a lot of really great tools under the Underlord, but I want to point out the YouTube description. Because if you've created your video and you're editing it here in Descript and you have the script, you might as well just let the AI, the Underlord, create your YouTube description for you because it knows everything that's in the video. So if I hit YouTube description here, it's gonna ask for some examples and some custom instructions, which are optional. So I'm gonna leave these blank for right now and hit submit. Now I don't have a very long video here, so I don't know what it's gonna come up with, but it looks like it's giving me a title and a description and timestamps. And number three is actually very surprising to me. And I wanna know, does this look any different to you? because you're now looking at Descript in the browser. And I have never been an edit in the browser girly because it's usually pretty clunky no matter like what you're trying to do. But Descript seems to have worked really hard to make their browser version of Descript in the web browser just as functional as with the regular desktop app. And I'm impressed by this. It looks the same, it acts the same, the editing functions are the same, it seems to like be the same speed to like get stuff done. Your projects are there, your compositions are there, the Underlord and all of the tools are in the same spot and work the exact same way in the web browser. But I gotta know, are you using Descript in the web browser? Because this whole time I've been using the app. Let me know in the comments. I totally forgot that there's people using the browser to do the editing. Now I had to pull up a legitimate project for this last thing. So under the Underlord, down here under Repurpose, we've had this option to create highlights, but I recently tried this Create Highlight Reel. So I'm gonna click that. It's going to ask me to choose a template. This isn't an interview, so I need one with just me. So we'll choose this. Hit Submit. And it's going to take the entire video, this is 11 minutes, 16 seconds, and create 
what it calls a highlight reel of the video. It's going to be, well, we're at just about three minutes and it really chops it up. You can edit, like you can remove the Descript logo. You could put your episode title in here. It's got your, um, the dynamic captions and everything, which you can also, you can move, you could edit these, change the font and the colors and whatnot. But what's really cool is it's giving you some already edited, ready to go clips that you could put on social media. So it's going through what it thinks is the highlights of your video and then throwing it all into a video for you. And it's not 100% perfect, but it gives you almost three minutes worth of some clips that you yourself could simply like highlight and just like take this one um, chunk and throw this into its own duplicate to new composition and then open that and you're just letting Descript kind of like do the work for you to find the good clips to put on social and I think that's pretty cool. I am loving this new version of Descript and I have a lot more tutorials planned for you including one where I'm going to cover every single Descript feature in the new Descript. So that's going to take me a while to record and edit. Make sure you hit subscribe